Vivo. That's nice. So she dropped about, I don't know, about a meter. And then it stopped. Not too bad. Happy. Okay. Okay, we shall. Unlock it. And I'm going to try it again. Okay, now I'm at doing it at eye level. And I'm going to drop it. She locked. I like you, Revo. Okay. And I'm going to... And now we're testing the Grigri. It's doing a drop test. And it slowed it down, but... Okay, on my first test, I threaded the Grigri wrong. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drop it, and see if what happens. It locks up instantly. Interesting. The Revo, however, it first test... I was an idiot and threaded it wrong. I would have still got hurt, probably. Not quite as bad, but I would have still got hurt. Okay. The problem with the Grigri is it doesn't slide through on the rope properly, and if you thread it wrong, you could get hurt. Uh, the Revo, on the other hand, was idiot proof. You could thread the rope on either side. However, the Grigri catches quicker. Wow. One thing I've learned is that about 3 8 inch rope is about ideal. Nylon or polyester, probably not polypropylene. Uh, polyester might not stretch as much and nylon might be a little bit better. This particular rope is what they call single rope, which I have no clue really what it means, but it stretches a little bit, which I like because that means it's going to be less likely to pull off the uh, places where it's secured. Here I have a rope going from there over to here, and um, you don't really need the Grigri on it. However, if something, that plank did break, uh, you would actually be stranded up there, and you would need to call 911. Um, on the other hand, with a Grigri or something like that, you could simply repel down the rope, which I might like to try. Okay. Okay, to get up here, what I would do is I would have two parallel ropes, one going across the <clears throat> top of the windows to the other one, maybe a foot down, and then another one going about um, two feet up, going across to the other side. I would also put a rope for the Revos and the Grigri. Um, at the peak there, and I'd probably put another one right about right about halfway between um, that, uh, you know, two thirds of the way down on that peak. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six points, and you would be covered for the person doing it. But I would also tie your ladders, of course, at about every eight feet. Um, I'm probably going to put stakes in the ground to keep them from windshield wiping or kicking. And um, I don't think I actually will have to put any up high, but though it probably would not be a bad idea to put a couple cords up high to keep things from from uh, windshield wiping. We are looking at a bunch of bees up there, so I'm trying to... Uh, get my bee suit from China, I might have to actually improvise um, something in the meantime. Here I'm going to simulate a seven or eight foot fall by a guy with the uh, rope not totally slack. Um, I'm using a, this, I'm using a, a Grigri pencil. And here we go. Okay, I don't know if that would have saved the guy any headache or not, but uh, here is the Revo by Wild Country. Same test. Kept locked toward the bottom. So it took about two meters, possibly because of the swing factor. Okay, now this is 
direct fall support from ahead above. It works. It works. So the support has to be from above. Okay, I'm redoing the test, this time with the Grigri instead of a Revo, and I'm dropping it the support dead ahead, dead above, and, uh, well, we'll see how she goes. Interesting. Scary. Either one would actually have worked, however, I'm not sure. Now, the problem with the... <coughs> Revo, because I'm not sure how to repel with it, whereas this one would be very easy to keep repelling. The, the repelling aspect seems very obvious. Okay, I'm repeating the 7 foot depth test at about uh, know, 2 meters away from the thing um, in the center, so let's see how she goes. Mark, you can sit. Go. So, apparently, the, <clears throat> I had like, no, no benefit at all, really. Of course, who knows. So, in conclusion, it looks like these ropes stretch about six feet, and it takes a minimum of like three feet for the Revo to kick in. Um, it looks like the Revo would kick in maybe at six feet, when it's not, <clears throat> when you're not dead under there, whereas the Greek read looked like it didn't kick in at all if the rope wasn't in directly above you. And you have to do more testing on that house next door. Um, I would say that they're going to be pretty much useless from like nine feet and down um, because of the stretch of the rope. It's going to be more like a bungee jump, not quite possibly. And uh, I think the uh, two, two rope support system actually does make a lot more sense because you got uh, your weight supported on both ropes and, uh, you know, the if one fails, the other one will probably help you get to the ground and it will probably soften the, the fall um, if you did fall. Of course, obviously, over here we have uh, one rope right now. I would say on a shorter on shorter, um, yeah, for, for need for, uh, you know, better support on shorter distances um, from above the ground, I would use a rope that did not stretch. Okay, the Revo versus the Grigri. Okay, just to be sure, I'm going to redo the test with the Grigri. That's all Grigri. And this time I'm going to tie the bottom to the ladder bottom there. <clears throat> the idea would be you could probably at least and, uh, you'd be able to get some some relief there, at least from there over over to there. Okay, the idea, and that will kind of keep it down. I don't know really yeah yeah you could have like a constant weight at the bottom you could just tie a gallon at the bottom i suppose and that would give you forever somewhere some downward force so we'll see it i'll see what can do this okay i am going up I'm going to go up, up to this level, and I have, I'm going to take out my slack, and I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I took out the slack, I'm going to do another drop test, seven feet up. That worked. Okay. Now, I'm going to just do a gentle weight at the bottom and see if that helps. Okay, here I've taken out the slack, but I put a kind of an empty pail in at the bottom. It's got, you know, it's supposed to have a quarter inch of water, but you can barely see it. So, we will see if this does anything. Mark, get set, go. 
<clears throat> so, I'm going to try it again with an empty pail. Okay, I'm going to do the repeat test this time with an empty pail. About seven feet up, I know. What the heck? Um, anyway, here we go. Okay, I'm going to drop. It worked. Agree worked. Okay, so the question is, is how little weight do you need in order to get that effect? Okay, here, if you notice, I tie off the ladders. I got uh, several places that are tied off. On this side, it looks like I got one, two down below. I got another one down here. got an extra one here. Um, this one here is just simply tied to the gutter. I have a emergency one tied to the handle, which I don't really in need, I guess. Here, I took the liberty to a screw in right there. There, there, there. I had one down there from a previous person, and then I'm also using the gutter. Looks to me like it's about every five or six feet. Um, it's totally unnecessary on this side, I believe. However, there were a couple well, squirrely, squirrely setup, sir. And I will, um, yeah. So anyway, here I went out and I bought a bunch of washers, a uh, full of two inch, two and a half inch uh, screws with the T20, which I don't like. I like T25s. Um, and what this actually has allowed is allowed. Um, additional support for keeping the, water, the ladder from kicking. Um, specifically on that one, there's nothing else to keep it from kicking other than up toward the top, which it probably would not because it's got plenty of friction at a 4 to 1 ratio. Here I'm going to redo the uh, drop test using the Revo Wild Country um, plus a one pound weight on the bottom, um, just about six inches above the ground at a tight spot up there. So I need to um, pause the video. One pound bucket on the bottom. Pulling out any slack up to my Revo Wild Country, one gallon of water, and I will drop it from seven feet and mark what's that go. So not too bad, not too shabby. So it looked like it actually caught very quickly. Now herein is the problem. How would I be able to descend a ladder with that stupid thing on me and not uh, take both hands off my ladder because I'm carrying stuff down the ladder. So I don't know if that's even going to work. So I'm not sure exactly. Descent is the difficulty in climbing. They make climbing down things so dang hard because they don't want to hit the ground. What is wrong with these people? So the Revo did not even catch. This is just simply the yeah, just simply the, um, what do you call it, the belaying or the repelling action. Um, looks like it's holding 10 or 20 pounds. Still kind of suspicious that it can actually, yeah, I guess if you hold it really, really down, it's just held gently down, it still goes down. So you almost have to kind of reverse it just a little bit on the rope, and then you can actually, um, you know, do it. I think it actually probably could repel it just as, you know, you, you move it up just a little bit, and it goes, whoops, which probably is no big deal if you're, you're high up on a cliff, maybe, I don't know. Okay, that's all I have for right now. So here we have the group. I'll show a bucket, and I'm walking up the ladder. And it feeds through. It's giving this resistance, but it's it's feeding through. 
Yeah, it's not gonna be you know, anything to. So as I walk down the ladder, it's also feeding through. Whereas the Revo would lock up unless I lifted the bucket. So that's actually means that technically the Revo is a little bit easier to actually move around with. Up and down, interesting. Okay, I'm redoing the test with the Grigri the bucket just simply because it was so easy to lock down the thing. So Okay, so she didn't do too bad. I'll redo this test. Ten feet, try not to break a window. And let's go. Okay. It actually worked. A bit less fun, so a little less dangerous. But it, she locked up. Uh, I like how quickly it locks up. I mean, it seems to lock up in about a half a meter, whereas the other one, Revo, locks up in about a meter. Okay, if you look here, it looks like there might be some difficulty. It's not supposed to do that, I don't think, by design. However, that's what, uh, maybe it did. I don't know, maybe that is by design. That's how it locked up. Which means, like, if you were in a situation where you were high up there, you'd not probably be able to get out very easily. But, let's see. I guess you probably could, but then that would prop you down. But you'd have to be holding on. And then you'd have to break by going down. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to do one more test. Okay. Here's why the uh, great great is not for movies. Uh, I had it threaded backwards on the last test. So, it, uh, yeah. So when I walked down the ladder and up the ladder, I had it threaded wrong. Um, yeah, the thing was supposed to... So technically, or not technically, but in reality, you can walk up a ladder. Technically you can, like, however you can see it's getting... However you can get, see it's getting snagged right, right in between those two things. It's not threading properly because you're walking up. Anyway, so, and when you walk down the ladder, just like the relay, it locks up. So you can't walk down the ladder and hold on to the ladder and carry stuff down with one of these things on. Period. End of story. Once you get to the top of the ladder, you can connect yourself. And that kind of sucks, actually, because it means it works on a plank, but you're not going to be able to really have practical applications on a ladder with one of these things. Interesting. So it would work maybe on roofs to some degree, except you're not going to be able to walk down the roof. Yeah. The only good thing is actually the Revo, without that one pound weight on the bottom, will actually protect you from the fall. But whereas this will not. This actually needs weight on the bottom. Interesting. So, technically, going up and down ladders, the uh, Revo from Wild Country would actually work. Whereas this sucker here will only work on planks and climbing up ladders. Interesting. Okay, we've already established that the Gree Gree does not work without the weight on the end of the rope. However, I'm going to test it again, and uh, whereas the Revo does work without that weight on the end, all it needs is just uh, something to spin that wheel really quickly, which means that when I'm going to do this new test without this bucket. Okay, so with no bucket on the end, I'm going to try to I'm going to go ahead and spill this bucket of water, proving that you need a weight on the bottom. Okay, Mark, get set, go. Okay, correction. It works when it's directly from above, kind of, 
but does it work when it's actually out to the side? Let's see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop it off from the side and we're going to spill this gallon of water. Okay, Mark, let's let go. Okay. We spilled that gallon of water. Which looks like it has a little bit of paint on it, but not a whole lot. Okay, now, in conclusion, the Revo will allow you to work on ladders. Because you can go up the ladder and the down ladder. The Gree Gree will not let you go down the ladder without taking one hand off the ladder, which makes it unsuitable for ladder use. Whereas, up on a plank, the uh, Revo probably would be a little bit better. And... Uh, because it stops you a little bit quicker, whereas the Revo takes about, uh, yeah, at least a meter before it kicks in, which is going to mean that you're going to be falling for a meter. You're going to put a lot more stress on that rope and everything. Might not be bad. Might be, might be, might be fine. Might not be bad. I don't know. Might, I don't know. It's like, hard to say. Okay. Now, second thought. I am not 100% sure of my last statement because it looks like the Grigory would work and so long as your tether was directly ahead above you. It would not work so well if your tether was below you unless you were, yeah. So, I don't know. I would have to say that uh, in some situations, the Grigory would work with ladders, whereas the Revo should work in all situations except for close to the ground. Yeah, I would say close to the ground. Not so good. Question is, yeah. So I guess if you're if you're tied off immediately above, you would be able to use the Grigri. It would be probably even a little bit better than the Wild Country one because Wild Country takes about a meter. So if the rope slip, you know takes six feet to catch, you might be on your vertebrae spine and with a broken neck, just like good old Charlie. One of my buddies and employees. Okay. So, between the two, to recap, the Wild Country Revo is more idiot proof, it's more trustworthy, um, and you have a little bit more slack. Um, the Greek Gree has the advantage of being $50 cheaper, maybe $60. It has the advantage of maybe re the repelling part of the belay. Actually, our belay works a little bit better. Um, though I don't think it would be impossible or unthinkable to repel using the, um, the repo. Definitely, um, yeah, so I, I probably going to head-to-head -head competition it's very very close but uh, i would say the revo would win um if mountain climbing isn't the the main thing um and you're trying to use it for ladders such as up there or up there however it should be noted that i would not trust either one of these devices or um, any ladders below nine feet, because I think you would be on the ground before they would probably kick in, and then the rope would be stretching, and so you'd still get hurt. I don't think it would it would um, help with injuries below eight or nine feet. Okay, now I'm currently on a very walkable roof. Um, I'm experimenting with the. Uh, Revo. Um, unfortunately, the ladders need to be tied. That's more important tying yourself because if you hold on to a ladder, you're not going to fall. Um, but you do have drug addicts, etc. So we are experimenting, but the problem is, as you can see, it uh, does not work if uh, there's these other ropes in the way, which means you're going to have to figure something out. You know, maybe multiple ropes off the same point or something yeah that can be threaded through there um yeah totally 
crazy and unnecessary, but it's an interesting test. Okay. Okay, the threading the <coughs> Revo from Wild Country. And this is not something I can do unhanded, apparently. Oh, that'd be nice. Good. Okay, this is kind of nice. Is it doesn't matter whether the thing goes in from the right or the left. Um, I do have to. It's pretty, pretty dang idiot proof. Okay, so once you get that done, then you have to put in your. your um, I don't know, what are they? Those little clippy things. Um, whatever they're called. Carabiners. Okay, here's a problem I repeatedly have run into, and uh, the thing is called the Wild Country Revo, and it locks up. I'm just descending a stinking ladder, and yeah, it just locks up, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, it looked like it actually, one of the dog ears had actually lifted up, so uh, that fixed it. But uh, the time before, the dog ears were not the problem, so I'm not exactly sure why it would lock up without the dog ears going up. The solution was to bring up the dog ears and then bring them back down 